Hello, Hi. welcome. Thank you for joining us. My name is Barry. And I'm Jay. And together we are with Tusu Crafts. Yes, welcome to our channel. Uh, today we'll be demonstrating with the Darling Details Bundle. So it is this fun floral um, two-step stamping stamps with uh, the dies as a bundle. Uh, but before that, we'll say hello to those of you who have joined us. So if you are watching the replay, you can fast forward to the demonstration. Uh, we're independent stamping up demonstrators based in the UK. So if you live in the UK, France, Germany, Austria, Netherlands, Belgium, or Ireland, you'll be able to purchase current stamping up products from our online shop. Uh, also, you can join our theme so you can get future discounts on your stamping up craft supplies so if you'd love to know more details do message us at uh, barry and jay at mitosocrafts.com or you can check oh. out check out our website is that one there <laughs> yes it's that one <laughs> Cool. So uh, if you are new to the channel as well, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel and pop in a comment and you'll be put into the random draw at the end of the live stream. So for the beginning, um, before the demonstration as well, we'll do a random draw for this card I created last Sunday using the uh, Hello, no, not Hello Beautiful. <laughs> It's a bright and beautiful sweet, isn't it? So, beautiful balloons, isn't That's it? That's it, yes. Yes. So, yes. So, if you missed that one last Sunday, the link is in the top of the live chat here. So, you can quickly go over and leave us a comment. And we will be picking a winner for that one in a moment after we've said hi to some of you on here as well. So, um, obviously, go back and have a little look at that video when you've got a bit more time. Obviously, go and stay here and watch Jay create with the... Darling Details, and obviously if you've been watching Janice's um, video, on who has just finished her video from Jazzle Dazzle Crafts, then she's been playing with backgrounds as well today, so do make sure you go back go and check her out as well. Um, but Jay's also playing with some backgrounds I think as well, aren't you? Ish. Ish. Yes. We're a bit, yes. a, bit, a bit messy, so um, we've got a bit of a watercolory, smooshy, yeah. messy background tonight. You see my hands, I'm doing all of this underneath, so yes. like smooshy and... <laughs> and guess what colour I'll be using today? Pop it in the comment. <laughs> yes, what colour do you reckon it's going to be using for background? It's beautiful. So, um, <gasps> lovely. So let's say hi to some people on here. Let's just take that to the top. There you go. Yay. You can take over this. So, hello, Kisha. Happy Sunday to you. Charlotte, hiya. Uh, Linda, hello. Happy Mother's Day to everyone uh, celebrating as well. Thank you, uh, Linda, for reminding us. <laughs> so, happy Mother's Day. Um, Gian, hello. Uh, Pauline, we also have Wendy, hello to you. Anne, hi Anne. Caroline, Jessica, uh, Maureen, Nancy Amato, Be More Stamper, uh, Margaret, hello. I don't, know, I don't know who that one is. It just says YouTube user, but wiggle wiggle, happy Sunday to everyone. Aww. So I don't know, but we don't know who you are. It hasn't come up with your name. So, um, so hi to you. <laughs> oh, it's Nanny Sasha. Nanny oh, Sasha. Yeah. So look at that. Oh, okay. That's Aww. it. Hello. Where's your wiggle? Oh, wiggle wiggle. <laughs> <laughs> you threw me that? off. Shall I do that again? Nanny Sasha. <laughs> Hello, uh, we also have Valerie, Joanna, hello, hello. <laughs> um, she's waving with her magic hands. <laughs> <laughs> hello, uh, Janice, East, Louise, we also have Claire, Robin, Tilly Crafts, hello to you, Sandra, Robin, Rose, Lolly and San, Sandy McCullough, hello. Oh, Bling Bling Crafter, hello, hello. Uh, oh, <laughs> um, Linda, correcta mundo, <laughs> <laughs> and Wendy, uh, Gian, uh, Marina, Lisa, and Quinn E. Did I? I thought I saw Lani as well. Did I Thanks. miss her? Um, I don't know yet, because you jumped a few there, because I know you, it skipped, so you missed... Oh, yes, um, I did. You, yeah, you missed Sandra Pat. Williams, Lani, hello. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, and obviously we've got Pat as well, Bling Bling Crafter, hi to you. Um, so, yes. It jumped, apologies, but hello everyone, thank you so much for <laughs> joining us. <laughs> 
Lovely. Oh, and Kathy's just popped on as well. Hello. Hi, Kathy. So um, let's get crafting. Yes. And see what happens. Um, so no, you have to do the. Oh, we have to do the live draw, don't we? Yes. So you're let's both bring over to that. I am. It's just for Jay's crafting tonight. Let's go over to the draw. So if you have left us a comment then you will be in the chance of winning tonight. So let's just see if there was any more of you which went. So let's see who that is. Leslie! Hey, congratulations, <laughs> Leslie. Congratulations, so Leslie. Do please email us. Um, details are on the screen. Barry and Jay at matusucrafts.com. Please pop today's date, the 14th of May, 2022. 22 on the back of year. 2023 in the subject line. And your full mailing address, please, Leslie. And we will this card in the post to you. So congratulations to you. So well done. Um, our video seems to have frozen. From the looks of it. Um... Can anyone hear us? Can anyone hear us or see us? Looks like our video has frozen. Let's go over to that. Can you see us there? That's it. I'll just bear with us one moment. Our uh, Jay just going to have to um, look pretty for a moment. Our camera video has. I think everything's gone down. <laughs> this is a good start, isn't it? Bear with us. Bear with, can you, can anybody hear me? <laughs> right, we are there, that's fine. All right, so I just need to see the, our video itself. So Jay, just... Um... So yes, the darling details, there's 22 designs on there. Um, as I mentioned, it is two-step stamping, background or in and out as Barry would say. Background stamp for the line images, if you can see it's too bright. Yes, yeah, so it's mainly floral, but it's it's a like line floral, which um, more cartoony florals, I would say. Um, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven sentiment, um, which from hello to birthdays to just a note and thank you. So, okay. So, we, uh, I think I've got the camera back, but it seems that it's buffering a lot for some of you. Um, so, let's just hope that we can um, continue with this. But we'll go camera down mm. and see yes. what happens. Hopefully it will sort itself out. Have you? Um, I have put my. Yeah, phone. we're all off um, <coughs> Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. Good. All right. So um, let's see what happens. Um, so enjoy, everyone. Hopefully, but yes, I'll I'll try and be quick. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, yeah, so this is the the bundle. Um, as I mentioned, 22, 22 designs, two step stamping, and you have sentiments. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven sentiments on there. The coordinating dies, there are 18. So you have matching with the designs, also um, just die cut elements. This is quite fun. The border um, dies, and you can feed through ribbons or cardstock. Um, and you also have two frames. These ones got um, dotted lines. Dotted? No. Yeah. <laughs> on the edge. So it's just details on the on the edges. So it doesn't actually cut it off the cardstock. So you, you can cut your own um, frame. And uh, you can determine how big the outer border is. So you have two different ones on there and some more uh, coordinating dice for the stamp and some more flourishes onto there. But yes, so a couple of you did um, guess correctly what colors I'll be using this evening. Um, so it has been, it's not my mission, but I have been um, sharing the five in colors on our Facebook, um, on our Facebook, page and wild wheat was the 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 lowest one or the least favorite so i thought i will play it with it as well because it is my least favorite but um yesterday i did share 
um, color combinations with it and this is the one that I really like wild wheat berry burst and bubble bath so I'll be using that this evening uh, which is quite nice because bubble bath and berry burst with the flowers I thought would look quite nice so I have wild wheat um, cardstock uh, basic white for the layer which I'll be doing some um, smooshing with so let's do that now so this is the silicone craft sheet it can um, protect your surface um, and normally I would just dab off onto it and then use a sp water spritzer but I thought well, like if you want just small amounts of color sometimes you can't um, you can't achieve that by putting that straight onto the silicon craft sheet so I thought well why not use the stamp so I'm just using one of the stamp and I'm just gonna layer that down of course you can use um, other things uh, but I, that's what I had to hand um, I will just put something underneath and then the spritz so you can I've done two on each and then I'll just do a couple around now I did try this before uh, just because I wasn't I still am not too sure about the color um, so I wanted to try it but it dried all right actually so it um, it was fine and this one I'm just gonna pop it down so really easy you can smoosh it with with your blocks as well um, but if you don't have a big enough block sometimes you just want everything on there so it's quite random which I, I like I can't normally do random so that that's what smooshing is um, and it's never going to be the same all the time so which is great um it it has that handmade feel to it as well and it's an easy background so one of the things um first things that we can like learn as well as a card maker so of course the easiest way to uh, create background is using dsp <laughs> which we do have and we should really use but sometimes you just want if you don't have the correct color so that's why um, this smooshing technique is great I'm just gonna wait that to dry for that to dry and that's pretty much it for the background or wait for it to dry and I might do some stamping on there in a second All right I'll just clean this up I'll bring in basic white and we'll do some stamping so bubble bar and berry burst so these are new colors and they're still juicy so I, I do just like to move the ink over and just wipe that off you can use old bone folder I just use a uh, store card loyalty card it's just easier and the width of it is big enough so we decided that it's the dark outline is better first I'll do a couple just to show you and then the filler So you can easily see where you are stamping, align your stamp onto there. Oh, that's good, Charlotte. DSP is your go-to background. I, I'm, I still have a hard time choosing DSP as my background. So easy peasy, lemon squeezy, <laughs> wild wheat squeezy. No. <laughs> uh, anyway I do think that because there is some greenery onto here like the flourish I do want an another color 
onto there so these ones are quite bright and that one is um well it's kind of like i would say it's regally collection under or neutral so what there is mostly matter or granny apple green is my go-to bright or used to be my bright green but now we have parakeet party one of the in colors and le lemon lime twist twist <laughs> mm. i've done it again I've, i did it before lemon lime twist <laughs> uh, twist <laughs> so granny apple green let's have a look <laughs> i can't oh, believe please. it <gasps> what am i on twist <laughs> it does look lovely with it Yeah, I think it's it's dark enough to kind of like um, match with the bare burst, but it's not too light that it's not coming, it's not being blended in with the background. So I'll do a couple of those. And maybe just show you this. Ooh, that's quite funky or weird <laughs> I haven't decided yet so two step stamping with one stamp is easy so you just stamp with the outline and then with the filler stamp off so if I just get another piece so you can make your ink colors last or go further by doing two-step stamping and it fills it in nicely but sometimes when it's too light the color is too light um, it doesn't always work or if the po photopolymer so this one it's quite um, textured so I guess it's distinctive ish but sometimes when it's smooth it doesn't always work that well it does give you a textured look so I don't know if you remember so for this one this stamp is really smooth surface so it did take on the, the texture of the paper that I stamped it on but I still quite like it but it's a different look so just so you're aware there are um, the small textures on the stamp or how it is the, the finish of the stamp does make a difference so um, just so you're aware of that and I think that should be enough for now I'll just die cut those just don't want that um, so I have a couple of here I will just cut that up we have the outline and <laughs> outline there is another flower that's kind of like a side flower I guess I I can use it on the next card so I can show you oh I do miss <laughs> magnetic plates who always add washi or sticky notes when they're die cutting let us know in the comments but sometimes I'm too stingy with my sticky note and it still moves <laughs> oh sorry <laughs> do I make you dizzy <laughs> do I talk too I don't think I talk too fast do I talk fast Sometimes I, I think way too much. 
and I never get things done because I'm always just thinking. And Barry will be looking at me and like, why are you just staring at the wall? <laughs> I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm working. That's what I normally say. <sighs> I am weird. I don't care. <laughs> There's also the um, outline stamps. Ooh, you may have seen this one already. I, sh I did share my Circle Sayings card on Insta. And I cut that. I'll show you. I, I did make another one. But again, this I filled it in the holes and it was a bit fiddly. Hi, Connie! Oh, there we go. Uh, there we go. Oh, change direction. <laughs> because I don't have such script. <laughs> and that's how my mind works. So yeah, so this is a lovely die. Um, let's use the take your pick tool. Like. So the outline. And you can keep or save your off cuts and maybe use press and seal and you can fill that in. But <laughs> I didn't do that. I used sticky note um, because just that's what I had to hand and fill that in. So this one another flourish which is lovely but sometimes I feel like if it's it's nice that it's the outline but sometimes if you can see if you have a busy background I find that it's too busy but maybe it's just me maybe I should just embrace embrace it so let's go on and use the frame as well I'm gonna use the smaller one of the two and the way that I I kind of like measured it I only want a small space onto there and the way I can like measured it is it's kind of, it's in between, which is slightly, an, not annoying, well, it is annoying. Um, so I put the edge of the cut on the track and then find out where it ends. So it's kind of like in between two and a half and two, two, four, six, two, seven, sixteenth of an inch. But then just add how much border you want. So I guess two, three quarters would have a one eighth of an inch border two three quarters okay try and remember <laughs> and this one is in between again so if I take the small line um, two four six eight and two eleven sixteenth of an inch add an eighth of an inch twice so ten centimeters or yeah or three six, fifteen sixteenth of an inch so but if you want you can just use uh, a big piece and then just cut it afterwards you die cut it i do just find it's easier to pre-cut the card which i thought i had all right let's get another one Okay, so two, three, you're right. Anyway, now my cat, I can't say the name, is talking to your cat. Oh. Sorry for confusing your cats there, Annie. They're <laughs> friends. They're having a good conversation. Oh, yes. I can't believe it was under the trimmer. Okay, so that's for that frame. Okay, what else did I want to show you? Oh, the... That one, I wasn't ready for it, but I'll do it 
I'll do I'll do I'll do it again. Okay. And before I do that, I this one it is there's a lot of dots, so it is a bit of a messy like with the off cards. So just be aware. Just make sure that after you die cut that your surface is clear of those because if you are stamping on top of it, um, it may af affect your stamping as well. Right, let's get it. Cut and boss machine. So that should have a nice ish border to you. Yes. And just turn that slightly so the roller goes through the die um, without too much um, difficulty. Oh, I got my. Sorry. My handle's on the other side. <laughs> you move I'm not used to it sorry there we go right hi Annie hello Julie thank you so much for sharing that's amazing we're so close to um another um what you call it Stone milestone that's thousands. it yeah we're like nine 92 away really? from 8k so every little helps share um to your crafty friends would be amazing so yeah so you get that beautiful frame and you have a label that you can use as well so i'll use that for the second card and you get loads of dots. And I'm not saving that one. <laughs> there we go. So I will do that one. Maybe I'll do that after. I'll just find. Since I, I said I'll do it, so. I'll do one. So that's very burst. It's really pretty. And when you take it out, just be careful. And I had just a sticky note or press and seal. <laughs> took off this it is as I said it because it's a small die it is a bit fiddly but um, this is how I created my um, I'll, I'll show it to you Oop, I missed one so if I put that back in and just take that down That's if it, ours it seem to go, um, stay on, stay on the plate. And if you cut another piece in bubble bar, and I'm only doing the petals. So you, again, you can save the off cut for this one. I won't do it on this one. just want the out oh. I can die cut it again I'm just like oh no I can save it <laughs> I won't save that 
you answer Linda's question, does that dye work with a country hotel? Maybe not quite right, my dyes or stamps. We don't have the co country corners, I think it is. I think, is that the one with the, the blue DSP? Unfortunately, we don't have it yet. <laughs> so I can't, I can't say. <laughs> And then just pop that in with take that out. Pop that in there. And the only other fiddly bit is actually see that one moved. Is adding glue onto it. So there's a couple ones that I've done tell me if um, there's other other ways of doing this but um, I couldn't think of doing it but we I will show you where is my sample there so this one I've done for the cupcake that I shared on social media and at the back I just use double-sided tape across too, too high or um, I did another one I die cut another flower but used it and just take that down so only certain areas are kind of like sucked down but it works so because obviously if you die cut it again it'll cut everything so um and we didn't have a circle punch either smaller small enough to fill that in but you may have one uh, we had three eighths of an inch it was too small um maybe half an inch might work but yes try it out but that's how i i did <laughs> i did these but maybe we can use that for something later on Anyway, I thought I just wanted um, another, to share another tip with you. So let's get back to this one and our background. So I just want to get rid of those dots. Hello. Has anyone got this bundle yet or have I changed your mind? <laughs> so that's going to go there but as you can see it's got the corner snipped in. So I'm just going to, you can leave it rectangular but <laughs> I, I, I was, um, yes, um, Charlotte. So I'm just going to snip. I'm going to start off with where it, the dotted lines are and then just going to leave a gap the same size as the border. So I'm pretty much just eyeballing it. So I believe the country side corner has got the corner snip in as well. I'll show on the catalog. Country, country. 63. I think this is what you mean. Um, oh, I question that one. But it's a, a lot more in. I think that's so if I place that on, it's not as long, elongated as the countryside corners. It fits on the second to large die, the width, but the, no, the height, but the width is the third one. So just to give you an, um, 
a guide, I guess. But yes, lovely papers. And I think Barry's getting um <laughs> getting persuaded by things that he's seeing uh, from other demos. <laughs> So we have that. I can stamp some more things on the background or you can ink blend, but there are loads of different designs that you can use from the set. So I might as well use it. Flowers, flowers. That one. Okay, we will do some block yeah we'll do the flower block and we'll do some stamping right that should be dried by now you can of course use your heat tool to quicken the drying time I do like my diagonal placing so I will go with that so I'll just start off just a couple random turn it round stamp off a couple and just build in you can even do in between with the double second generation just for some texture do I want that one day <laughs> when you're stamping off the card and you want a double a second generation I wouldn't recommend it when you're stamping on the full design onto the card you can use the second generation just because whatever's not hitting the card will have more intense color so you'll have half a so if i show you i'm sure you know what i mean so the second generation will have a the tip but that that could be a good um design choice as well if you want so for like circles the, ooh. That would be interesting, don't you think? Right, I think that should be enough. Just do this one. So if I start off the edges first, and then do first, and then second, first, and then second, So I guess I'm not I'm not wasting the ink, but there's plenty. It's it's really juicy. Oh, see, <laughs> I was trying to be quick, but that's fine. It's textured, textured florals. That sounds like a stamp set. I could. That's gonna be down there so I, I can hide it. Okay, that's fine. Right, we'll just finish up with um, with this card. So I want more texture, so I will bring in <laughs> the painted texture 3D embossing folder. Of course, um, stamp before you emboss. Just because when you stamp on textured card, your stamping won't be equal or the same. It's Tommy. Oh no, that's me. So 3D embossing folder. Normally the logo tells you which one is up, but this design doesn't matter. Or the 
the logo is like your embossed side. So sandwich one in four. Who can eat four sandwiches? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> if it's cut into four square uh, triangles, I can. <laughs> Right, let us. <laughs> let us finish up. So we have that one, this one. And you do have wild wheat textured ribbon. Is it called? Yeah. So this one, um, surprise, surprise, it's textured. But the texturing is kind of like tre treaded in. I don't know how they did it, but it looks nice. So I'm gonna add that on in the middle there. Yeah, I'll do that. And then I can do something else for the next one. Where is the love? Have you seen the, oh yes, it's there. Oh, I'm gonna try something. Right, we have loads of seal, but I never use it. <laughs> Let's see if it works. <laughs> I want to do more reels, but and I think using seal is faster, I guess. See, and I don't want to do that, but I guess I can edit it. Cross are you straight? Yeah, I managed to cover it, that's cool. So that is kind of faster. Right, let's let's seal this area. Mm. I hope you don't mind me. Testing it out with you. It seems to be okay. <laughs> yeah. Just make sure I don't pull it to one side because it it's fine. Stick that down. The only reason why I prefer liquid glue is when I stick it down. I always find that I don't stick it down the same with a nice border. But that's fine. <laughs> Alright, so is that a new embossing folder, Jay? No, it's not. It's been a couple of years. The we haven't yeah, painted texture. We haven't had many embossing folder. Um we haven't ordered. Uh, any new ones recently so I there is a couple that I really like See, look there. that's fine so this one's just gonna go on top and I will stick that down oh sentiment I can't believe I don't have sentiment yet right let's let's do some it I feel like the edges is better for these should be big enough yeah or I don't know if the foam strips would probably be all right as well round the outside round the outside <laughs> Love. right there we go hey Tommy you can sit on you can't sit on the catalog there you go you can sit now and he has <laughs> he definitely has us trained i think um someone said that on the <gasps> on my post when he was sitting on my head 
It's weird. It must be my hood. Yeah, it's your hood. He loves sitting on your hood. But it's just like because he never does it any other time. Minnie does. Minnie just sits on my neck whenever she can. Right. Let's go there. And we have there. That can be out. Ooh, do I want the white? The white will there. So it, it, there's a lot of elements that you can just kind of like build up. Did I only have? See, and I think the green, yeah, add something to it. And you can probably add this, I don't know, bud. <laughs> what's, what's that, bud? <laughs> Glue. How long's it been? Okay, my next card isn't gonna be as long. Oops, sorry. Or I could always just show you a different card. But I, I do have another tip <laughs> with the tie. I hope you don't mind. So you you can like change it up or like you can do different things, but I probably use that for one and then have another. And for the sentiment, what shall we do? Where is it? Hello there. Why thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, count me among all the people who are here for you. Oh, you're not here. I hate that. Or you can have that as a double thingy. I don't know. I just for for sentiments. I just want generic one, like happy birthday, hello. Just no, thank you. So I'm gonna keep it like that. Maybe a thank you because it you uh, one of you will win this one. So if you haven't pop in a comment yet, do so. If you're just lurking in the background, um, pop in a comment. So, ooh, maybe I should have stamped that first. Because I don't want to be fussy cutting. <laughs> there is, ooh. Oh, no, no. That one. No, I'll just, I think I'll just, I'll just stamp it and then cut it straight or something so that's that one wild wheat how do you look with that bubble bar bling bling craft has asked the question who do we watch on youtube for inspiration um i don't watch many people to be honest, Barry does, uh, and we normally. Really, I don't really watch anyone specifically. It just depends on who pops up on my feed, really. Yeah, we do follow uh, um, a few people uh, as well, and we always put up or uh, most of the time when we're setting up, uh, Barry puts up Janice, uh, Janice's Jessel Dessel Craft with Janice. Um, yeah, we always watch her on a Sunday before yeah. us as we're setting up. <laughs> So yes, so if you don't follow follow Janice, um, do Janice is on. She's just popped up yes. for dinner. Her dinner was nice, Janice. Also, if we're on a video hop, so Stamp Around UK, uh, Global Stamping Video Hop. Uh, so those are the people that we can like mainly look at or watch. But we do follow. Uh, we are subscribed to a few people. I'm yeah. just gonna cut that. But yeah, my uh, inspirations doesn't really come from watching videos. Mine normally comes from just things that I see on a on everyday um, scenarios, like either what's the trimmer um, for color combinations. Normally, um, fashion 
or artwork or graphics um, from ad advertisement or programs that we watch um, like RuPaul Drag Race <laughs> or Survivor Australia <gasps> um, yeah. so yes yeah, so like different things that catches my eye um, so that's where I get my inspiration from I don't know what about you Barry I think that's moment, straight. <laughs> um, but no, I suppose I just go to the catalogue, and I, I, I suppose I do go to YouTube as well. But there's no one specifically I would go to. Um, really, apart from the people you've mentioned already. Mm. Okay, I'll do that and finish up quickly. <laughs> so. We'll bring that up with dimensional. So I tend to just do a couple when I remember in the middle when I'm inserting things underneath because I tend to forget and I'm always having to take it up uh, or off. So that's another tip for you. So you can just easily slot things in. One there, press and hold, <laughs> press and stick, no, press and seal. <laughs> ma, ma. <laughs> What's that noise? No idea. Mm. Ooh, under here, there you go. I know it's white, it's kind of like merging in, but I don't mind. And this one. Under there. It's too upright. Can you be a bit more? <laughs> there. And I'm just going to add that on. So either side. So maybe it wasn't the best idea to use. What did I use? Seal when it's been watercolored or smooshed and embossed. Maybe if it's just embossed, it's fine, but I'll clean that off. Right, finish up this one. So either side will do. Just so it's not heating up. that I know I had another one but I think one is enough I just want a couple of different things the sample on the catalog they've done a lovely arrangement but of a lot of elements but I just want small Small. Said, um, she likes to watch Jan B as well, but we haven't seen her for a while. Do we yeah. know about Jan? I'm not sure. No, we don't um, at, so, um, no. But yeah, no, Jan did some lovely videos when she was doing them. Yeah, and I think she used to do daily one. I, really, I don't know how, don't she, know done how she, she done that. Um, in color dots. Uh, let's go wild wheat. Oh, no, that's wild wheat. So, one, okay, let's go there. One, two, three. My usual. <coughs> Hide one. <laughs> or around. Yeah, well, let's go. Oh, I just. I just like my triangles. I don't know. There you go. So that is my first card. 